Hello Excelers and welcome. Thanks for joining me today for another How to Excel at Excel.com Excel tip video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button below to get notified when there's a new Excel tip available here on my YouTube channel. And if you want to sign up for the How to Excel at Excel newsletter, which gives you three free Excel tips every month direct to your inbox, there's a link below in the description box there. And when you sign up, you'll get my free ebook, which has got my top 30 Excel tips. Okay, let's get started on today's Excel tip. Hi Excelers, welcome back to another how to excel at excel.com video. I'm glad you can join me. Today I'm going to show you how to use the advanced or an advanced version of the transpose function. So if you've been using Excel for a while, you'll probably be used to using the transpose feature where you can take columns of data copy them, use paste, special, transpose, and transpose them from columns to rows. This is a really useful function in Excel. I use it a lot. Once you know about it, you realize how much you do use it. But this is a bit of a once-off function, and it's static. We can change the columns to rows. So what I'm going to show you is how to change your columns to rows, but make them now dynamic, make your rows dynamic. So if we change this to seven up here, it'll change here automatically to seven also. And we do that by using the transpose function. So let's get started on that. So I've reset my data set. I've got my columns of data and I want to transpose them to rows. So just a quick reminder of the basic transpose function, copy, Paste, special, transpose. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the transpose function. Now, transpose is an array function. So this means that you will need to hit control, shift and enter to actually use the function. First, so this formula is slightly different. What we need to do before we even write the formula is we actually need to select the cells which are going to be our destination range before we even start typing the formula. So in this example, we need to select seven columns and two rows as we originally had seven rows and two columns. So let's select two rows and along to seven columns. This is where our transpose data is going to end up. So we've got the cell selected, just begin typing the Excel formula, transpose. Our array is our cells. Don't close your parentheses yet. Now you might be tempted to just hit enter at this stage. Don't do that. What we need to do is enter this as an array formula. So close your parentheses and hit control shift and enter. You can see that the transpose formula has your curly brackets and this means that it's an array formula. So now if we just change this to 10, you can see that your transpose data is updated as well. So that's really handy if you do this over and over again on a regular basis. You can use the advanced transpose array function instead of copying and paste special transpose. Hope you like that tip. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Check out the links in the box below where you can also read the corresponding blog post to this. I'll see you again next time for another How to Excel at Excel.com video.